Hey guys, everything new under the sun. Calling on all my solar experts, those who have uh, followed me and, and watched my system set up. I, I, so far I've done a pretty basic, uh, low level, kind of you know, cost efficient uh, solar panel setup. Uh, I don't, I'm not running my house on solar energy, renewable energy by any stretch, um, but I have some projects. I have my off-grid airstream camper which I'm uh, looking to outfit with solar. And I do have enough uh, solar charge capacity right now for the number of panels, but I am looking to the future and looking to um, uh, a more professional uh, charge controller that will effectively last my lifetime that I can use going forward and uh, for pretty much any size of solar panel array that I have or might have in the future because I can use some of these units in parallel with each other um, to uh, increase my solar panel array um, no, you know, no matter what sort of solar panel system I want, renewable energy system I want. I've been looking at the Outback Power Systems unit uh, but I've also uh, looked at it and uh, started looking at the Midnight Classic as well. Now these are fairly expensive units. The Outback in Canadian dollars is about $700. Uh, the Midnight Classic is about eight nine hundred dollars so a bit more expensive I'm interested to know and I know JW Solar USA I think that's his uh, uh, YouTube handle I know he has both of these units and so I'd be interested to be be interested to hear some feedback um, from you all if anybody has that experience uh, with Outback Systems uh, with uh, Midnight Solar etc this is MidnightSolar.com's comparison chart you know and I don't know how objective it is in terms of uh, uh, you know comparing and rating um, but I um, let me go back here I think they had uh, a chart uh, which uh, describes the uh, performance of uh, both systems and of course it, it was from uh, Midnight Solar's website their cell, themselves and, and they apparently um, have a, a, a chart that shows that theirs is the best performance a performing uh, charge controller as well amongst the other ones, Morning Star and, the, and these other ones. So it's an interesting comparison. I, I've looked for some uh, reviews on these units, which makes sense, which is the best bang for your buck, uh, which is the best long-term unit. And so asking for help from my subscribers and anybody who's watching, uh, I, uh, add your comments below. Let me know what you think is better or, or maybe if you, if you think Morning Star is the best uh, solar charge controller, um, I'm looking for long-term reliability, something that will uh, be good enough for, you know, a, a kilowatt array, which uh, you know, the Outback can do certainly at 80 amps, um, and uh, something that's going to to last through the years and, and be the best bang for the buck, um, and also provide uh, decent logging, which that's what that's the kind of the feature that a lot of the other um, cheaper charge controllers don't do. They don't provide um, any amount of logging, so I'm interested to see amp hours per day and uh, watts per day and something that I can track and uh, I, I, I know the Midnight Solar also has an app that goes along with it and I'm not sure if the Outback has an app for it but that's something uh, I'd be interested to know as well. What's your experience uh, with these units um, and uh, what would you recommend what do you think is the overall best unit bang for your buck is, is, a, is the Midnight just uh, too expensive or do you get uh, all the features for that money? Do you get what you pay for? Do you get more features than with the Outback? Um, I know they're both high quality systems so anyways leave your comments. I'm interested to know what you guys think about them and um, and this may it will probably indeed influence my uh, purchasing decisions over the next year or so as I kind of build out um, my, my renewable energy setup. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, that would be very helpful to me.